all right so this is a particular question um a word problem question that's leading to quadratic equation so the question reads the sum of two consecutive whole numbers um is five over six of their product find the number so um the first thing we're going to do is um defining the two consecutive whole numbers so we say let let the numbers <clears throat> let the numbers be x and x plus one so i'm seeing this as an entity so i'm going to put it in a bracket x plus one is in a bracket there as a single entity so the first consecutive number is x the second consecutive number is what x plus one as a single entity all right so <clears throat> the question also reads that the sum of the two of them the sum of the two of them so let's ask i say what what is sum sum is particularly what addition so that means we are adding the two consecutive numbers so sum here sum here implies we have x plus open bracket x plus what one and this gives us what so if you add these numbers add these two consecutive numbers we're going to have x plus x is what two x and we have a plus one beautiful all right now the next part i want us to look at is their product product particularly means multiplication multiplication so i'm going to write product so this implies we have x multiplied by x plus one beautiful so if you open this bracket now we're going to have x multiplying everything in the bracket so this is x square that's x times x is x square x times one now gives us plus x beautiful beautiful so let's go back to the question again the question also read again that the sum of two consecutive whole numbers is five over six of their product and what is of in um word problem mathematics generally of is multiplication again so i want to rewrite everything um the way the question is being presented sum first equal to what five over now the is that you're seeing here is particularly means equal to equal to that the sum of the two consecutive whole numbers is five over six of their product that means the sum is equal to five over six times the product that's what it means all right so we now have this now implies we have sum our sum is what 2x plus 1 is equal to what 5 over what 6 times the product the product here is let me put the product in bracket we have x square plus x as our product beautiful so you can see now we have um a particular question that may lead us to quadratic expression because we have x square here particularly so what we're going to do is what um multiply through by what six to remove this particular six here so multiply through by six all right so six multiplies the left hand side six multiplies the right hand side we have six open bracket two x plus one to be equal to and now six here multiplied by five all over six multiplied by open bracket x square plus x close bracket so this six goes with the six and we finally have um if you open this particular bracket we have six times two x gives us what 12 x plus six times one gives us what six to be equal to now we are left with five outside here five times x square gives us what five x square also five times x is what plus five x beautiful so if we decide to rearrange this what we are going to have by implication is this we have five x square right so i have this this now goes to meet 5x here so i have plus 5x right then because 12 here is cr crossing this equality sign it becomes what minus so i have minus 12x beautiful and um six also crosses i have minus minus what six so and finally we have zero at the other side so this now implies we have if you subtract what we have here 5x minus 12x is equal to minus 7x so we have 5x square 
minus 7x minus 6 equal to what? 0. So this is the quadratic equation that this particular word problem leads us to. So what we are going to do is what? Factorize this particular word quadratic equation. Now look at the first term here. The first term has a coefficient of what? 5. And the constant term is what? Minus 6. So if you multiply the first term and the constant term, you have what? 30. That is 5 multiplied by what? 6. 5 multiplied by 6 gives us what? 30. So we have a minus 6. That means we have minus what? 30. Beautiful. So the question now is this. The question now is this. What are the factors of 30 that when you add them together or subtract them, you get what? 7. Minus 7. Beautiful. So it's basically is what? 3 and 10. 3 times 10 is what? 30. Then 10 minus 3 is what? 7. But since we have what? Minus 7 here, it will be what? Minus 10 and minus um, 3. So this now implies we have 5x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus what? 6 equal to what? 0. So what are the factors here now? What are common between these two? Between these two, what are common? And the other side, what is common? So we have 5 here. And 10 is the same thing as what? 5 times 2. So if you factor out 5, 5x, we are going to be left with what? x here, here, right? Because the number of x here is 2, right? Minus. So 10 is the same thing as what? 5 times 2. So if you factor 5x out, you have what? 2. Beautiful. Plus. Now, what is common here between the, these two? Now, 3 is here, right? And we have x here. Also, 6 is the same thing as what? 2 times 3. So we have minus what? 2. Beautiful. Equal to what? 0. So... Finally, these terms that are outside the bracket makes up a new bracket. So we have 5x plus 3, close bracket. And we pick this, any of the brackets here, x minus what 2 equal to what 0. All right. So I am going to, I'm going to um, clean up, clean this side to just wrap up the question. All right. So. So we have either either what 5x plus what 3 is equal to 0 or we have x minus 2 equal to what 0. So if you take plus 3 to the other side, like this side here, you have 5x equal to what minus 3 divided by side by 5 divided by 5. This goes and x here is equal to what minus 3 over 5. So we have an or here, x is equal to what? This goes to this place and we have what? Plus 2. So x is equal to what? Plus 2. All right. So now, since it's a whole number, according to the question, is a what? A whole number, right? That means um, what we are going to be considering is just this plus 2, right? Because this is not a whole number. Minus 3 over 5 is not a whole number. So back to our consecutive, um, two consecutive numbers that I said we have. Remember, our consecutive numbers are x and x plus what? 1. So, x here is what? x here is what? 2. And x plus 1 basically is what? 2 plus what? 1. Which is the same thing as what? 3. So, therefore, the two consecutive numbers, the two consecutive numbers, numbers are two and three so that is all thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video